Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metzl. It is almost time for Night of Champions in just two more days at 10 p.m. UTC. We will have every single title on the line and tonight we've got a stacked card from Biloxi, Missouri. Ain't no blues going on here. It's Friday. Stand firm. How you doing tonight, Jimmy Ventura? I'm doing fantastically well, thank you, Gorilla. Um, Excellent. Well, uh, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I think uh, the mood might be soured. We're starting off in the ring with fucking Flicky Flack trying to hype up the crowd. Don't know what he's got on his mind here, but he is starting in the ring uh, with a scheduled promo to open up Friday. Stand firm, so I'm going to try and hype up the crowd before they all fall asleep to <laughs> Flicky Flack. Yep. All right, let's get to ringside, see what the big man himself has to say. He is in the main event tonight. He is there with his partner, Tom Schniz, one half of Plain White Toast, facing off against Night Demon and Gdanik, six feet down under. Here's Flicky Flack. Thank you to Jimmy Ventura and to Gorilla Metal for that warm welcome. Your support and appreciation is a constant source of energy and motivation for me. Here at W Universe, I'm here tonight with a plea to Mr. James McMahon. It is a travesty that I am not yet booked to take my rightful place in the heavyweight championship bout at the Knights of Champions. To right this wrong, I have prepared a PowerPoint presentation that you will find both informative and enjoyable. Do the slides. I am the star of the GFW. I have given my blood, sweat and tears into making me the dynamic individual who stands before you today. A main event World Heavyweight Championship match without Flicky Flack is inconceivable. Next slide please. As you can see from this chart, I am ahead of all other heavyweights in power, technique, determination and charisma. I deserve this title shot and I'm going to take it. No one else can touch me. Next slide please. As this yak graph shows, my career performance statistics are off the scale. I have seen off unseen talent. I have seen off Odonta Useless, and I have sent Div packing. Given the chance, I will do the same to Shy Demon and Johnny B. Average and emerge victorious. As an interesting side note, does anyone know who invented Yak Graphs? Anyone? That's right, Gorilla, it was me. Next slide, please. Now, Mr. Jims McMahon, if that is all not enough to prove I've earned my place, though surely it is, then think of the money. I know you to be the kind of man to wrestle your own grandmother for the lost penny down the back of the sofa. Well, this chart shows that I, Flicky Flack, is the wrestler the fans want to see in the main event. No one excites a crowd like me. Next slide, please. Finally, let it not be said that I'm just a man of facts and statistics. If cold hard numbers can't win you over, then take a moment to look over these glowing recommendations. I deserve to be at the Knight of Champions. I deserve this title shot. I deserve to finally be crowned the heavyweight champion of the world. Thank you for listening and for your consideration in this matter. Flicky, out. Wow. Well, uh, the, what a presentation by Flicky Flack on that one. Really lobbying to get himself added to the World Heavyweight title match. 
this Sunday at Night of Champions against Night Demon and Johnny B. Good. No word yet what the powers that be will say, but I got to say some pretty compelling evidence there lined up and uh, masterfully presented, if I may say so myself, by Flicky Flack. What do you think of that, Jimmy Ventura? It was incredible, wasn't it? Uh, absolutely awesome. And speaking All of right. awesome, look at this next match. Yeah, absolutely. Huge match coming up now. Frost Lord Army versus Table Leg Wanger. Big time battles. These guys have met before in former feuds over the Extra Arms Belt Championship. But now they're going mano y mano. No belts on the line here. Frost Lord Army trying to crawl out of the ashes of the collapse. Mighty AF. And what a way to do it with the powerhouse here. The masked powerhouse going up against Table Leg Wanger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well once uh once we launch the uh the jfw network squirrel dude we'll uh, <laughs> we'll start doing uh side show <laughs> We should just, if you, if Jim starts a Patreon and actually gets me some money, I'll put the time in for it. <laughs> Glorious. Jeff W. Network. Today we're absolutely rock hard today. And so was my cock. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you, Flicky Flack. That was one hell of a performance. <laughs> Excellent stuff on that one. I will, uh, I will, I will overlook you making a sexual innuendo about my fiance. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. You just said. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. She might have heard me. <laughs> All right, man. This is this is a this is uh, on most shows. This could be a main event match. We are opening up your Friday stand firm with this one. Gonna start it red hot to catch up the energy after that presentation. And here we go. Table Leg Wanger versus Frost Lord Army. And oh, stiff. Will we see the dominance that Table Leg had at Royal Rumble over his former best friend, Jimmy Va Jimmy Fantastic, excuse me? Or can, uh, can the uh, durability and endurance of the man who should probably be wrestling for six feet down under <laughs> after his own uh, experiences at the Royal Rumble? Oh, wait a second. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a second. That's Tony plays poorly. He's coming out here tonight. He's not letting Frostlord get away from Mighty AF just yet. And here we go. Oh, oh, stutter right off the bat. Right into him. And that's going to cause a DQ win for Frostlord, which maybe Wanger won't like so much. But Tony plays poorly. <laughs> actually delivering on the interruption mid-match thank christ could have waited slightly <laughs> longer but hey beggars can't be choosers tony plays poorly not done with frost lord and folks you've been waiting a hell of a long time for this one i am now being Fuck told it tony. is finally Stop time for marcel mcdaniels versus crusher right here on friday stand firm <laughs> Get hyped because this match is definitely <laughs> happening next in the ring. Crusher versus Marcel. Yep. Uh, Frostlord gets the DQ win in that bezel. Yep. Oh, what the hell? This isn't Crusher. Oh my gosh, wait, folks. Sorry, sorry to keep interrupting these matches. It looks like Ansi still continuing his quest to wear down Papa Piccolo into giving him a title shot. And the backstage brawl spilling over here. Antsy going after Papa Piccolo. Huge boot to take down the champ. Oh, this show's going to be about 22 minutes. The fucking... 
PowerPoint presentation was longer than our first two matches. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yep, that's how it would work. That, no, Frostlord definitely on the books for the win there. And, uh, you know, Wanger, Wanger taking a loss he probably won't be happy about. But I don't think he wants to step in between Mighty AF right now. Those guys have been going at each other hard. And I don't mean in a fun Friday night kind of way. <laughs> and I don't think that's blood you were cleaning up, Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's very shiny, isn't he, Power Piccolo? Hi, and relax when we get home. That's what... All right. That. Yeah, absolutely. The the Plum Plum Pluserweight champion in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> Fair enough, Frosty. <laughs> yeah, nothing's quite as shiny as Big Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Big Ham, of course, somehow found his way onto a pay-per-view card, <laughs> much to the chagrin of some of the bookers. <laughs> he will be competing in the four-man elimination table match for the Wemdope Championship, uh, and he will be uh, facing off against Mr. E, the, the Wemdope Champion, and the other person who won the match, pur Purple Chess, who won a uh, an over-the-top battle royale, somehow, some way, will be competing for that Wemdope title. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hashtag reunite rude ham. And then tonight we have a wild five-man TLC match, five mystery. Uh, entrance will compete for that final spot for the Wemdope title. Should be a wild one. Yeah, it's going to be an absolute thriller, I'm oh. sure. Oh, God, that was brutal. Oh, man. Unfortunately, Night Demon, uh, while that might um, uh, that might, might be a crowd favorite at this point, Night of Champions is all about championships and there ain't no belts around uh, Marcel and Crusher's waist. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Oh, what a Look at that trash can. It's dented in pretty good. <laughs> yes, sir. Huh. And a lot of damage <laughs> being done here oh, by, by collisions. Wow. <laughs> Nasty collision there by Papa Piccolo. <laughs> and Hansi whiffs on that one. Captain Brainworms straight to the deck. Yeah. Indeed. Has he ground down Papa Piccolo enough to lead him to believe that he's got to put his title on the line against him on Sunday, uh, or else he's just going to have to keep suffering all these ambush attacks? We'll probably find out later tonight uh, as a result of this attack. Yep. Oh, look out. Look out, Oof. Papa Piccolo. Oh, drops his head. Right into the knee there. Doesn't knock him out, though. No, I thought he'd win, then. Me, too. Oh, straight right fists hand. coming back. Unsanctioned match. Anything goes in this one. Oh, walked him just a bridge too far there. Yeah. And now Ansi. Oh, he's got him real close. Dangerously close. Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Looked like he was setting him up. Against that electrical panel there. Yeah, and see, it's not always it's not always finishes that uh, are required. Though. Oh yeah, we've seen. Yeah, like this, this. Storms. Look oh, out! God. Oh god! Did you see the way he bent? And sure enough, <laughs> the Plim Plum Pluserite champion is out. Antsy oh, doing the god. damage, and this war is far from over. I think Papa Piccolo has the means to end it, but he's going to have to put his title on the line to do so. Let's uh, wait and see. We'll, 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 we'll hear back about that one, I think. And now, folks, tag team action. Two teams still vying for that spot against Doss Hats for the uh, 
the extra or excuse me the two heads championship and uh it's uh dress for business and dance dance revolution we are being told later tonight that uh, Doss Hats will, in fact, inform us who they will be granting their title shot to. They've been given that right after kicking the shit out of the furries and being done with those idiots. We will find out exactly who will face Doss Hats for the Two Heads Championships. Glorious. Could be Dance Dance Revolution, haven't they? They've been doing great recently, thanks to mostly Z Talk, funnily enough. Pretty good, yeah. A couple, a couple of skids here or there, though. But they have been, uh, they have been great. But again, what can you say about Dress for Business after winning that amazing match, one of the best matches we've ever seen against Six Feet Down Under's powerhouse Gengar and Gaday Nick? That was one hell of a performance. It was incredible, yeah. To be, if you fair, Dress for Business are pretty great. Aren't they? They've had their ups and downs, that's for sure. But could this be the time for Dance Dance Revolution? I, you know, I thought Dress of Business didn't need any build up, did they? They've been there and done it, apart from winning the title. <laughs> Absolutely. BT Kill. <laughs> yes, Johnny Five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what I don't know what everyone's referring to there. It sounds like Davo said something stupid though. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly correct. Okay, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I miss out on a lot of stuff by being the one person in the community smart enough to not pay attention to the Blood Bowl 3 Discord. Oh no, it was, it was posted in, it was posted in my Discord. Flicky tagged me and said, look at this. <laughs> I was like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> I also don't pay too much attention to your Discord unless it's the wrestling. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> And there they are, dressed for business. Former champions uh, had to do uh, do it a long, circuitous way, but they did get their titles. But no longer champs would love another shot at Doss Hats, who have, uh, well, they've been. I mean, it, it's hard to argue that they're not the greatest tag team in JFW history. There's very few that can come anywhere close to contending with that title, and uh, you know. Dress for business coming all the way back and winning those titles a second time, that would be something. Sure. <laughs> Not my favorite band, but I do like them quite a bit. I don't <laughs> like uh, the other Boston shitty punk band that everyone oh, thinks is amazing. <laughs> what a fucking slam from PTK. That's a long story and not worth telling, to be honest, I <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> PTK <laughs> missing twice. A devastating <laughs> flurry of blows. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's able to use his size though to get on top, but the quickness of Lemon is good. Coming right back. Yeah, the drop kicks. Not a huge fan of theirs. Not a huge fan at all. Yeah, that's that song is predominantly why Steve Motti. You can imagine living in Boston. I've heard that song a fair few too many times. Oh, what a counter! Drops him on his ass. Oh, look at that though. Yeah, nice, uh, nice uh, reversal there by Fan Fox. Uh, probably the most technically gifted wrestler, uh, unless you're doing a sharpshooter uh, in the ring right now. <laughs> and, uh, may I just interrupt to say? Fuck off, Sean. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I agree, Tom. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, J Five. Absolutely. Fuck off. You know the the big one was uh, the big one was uh, the fucking Scorsese movie from Boston. What was it? Um, with DiCaprio and Matt Damon. The Departed. Yeah, The Departed. It's a great movie. Great movie, but, uh, you know, a movie about uh, rats and informants that ends on the last scene of a rat crawling across a window wasn't really going for fucking subtlety. <laughs> and uh, the whole, oh, let's do our mounted action scene where they're all driving through the streets of Boston to shipping up to Boston. Like, <laughs> it's a little much. <laughs> Absolutely, J5. Whew, look at Z Taco getting getting completely fired up. Yep. The part is uh, it's actually a remake too of uh of a I believe it's a Chinese or a Hong Kong a Hong Kong action movie called something, which I haven't seen, but I've heard it's pretty it's good. Weird time, isn't it? Something. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, someone someone in chat I'm sure knows what it is. Oh, look at that big back body drop. Oh, it snaps the snaps the neck there. <laughs> Fuck off, J Five. <laughs> mostly just got mostly my contribution to this is yep and telling people to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as uh, about as unique a big budget Hollywood movie as you're gonna see in the last decade or so. <laughs> Not much like that. Internal Affairs. That's it, JPG. Yep, okay, I knew I knew there would be a stream of the title <laughs> as soon as I asked. I've yet to see it, but I, I have heard it's good. Is it as good as the devil in Miss Jones 6, though? That's the question. I have not seen that. <laughs> I, I or imagine, know anything about it. I imagine Wanger and I are probably two of the... about the three people who've seen that in chat. <laughs> But it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> there was even wrestling in it. It was Fair brilliant. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, All right, Lemon is good. Twisting the neck there on PTK, <laughs> trying to wear the big man down. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you're going to see Fan Fox tag in here. No, PTK able to fight his way out of the corner. Sends him back over towards Z-Talk here. Does not get the tag in. Another counter out. And uh, starting to heat this one up a little bit here. Just bouncing oh. each other up. Oh, look at that. Lemon using his massive uh, ability to jump there and then gets him with the uppercut and PTK in some trouble here. Yeah, incredible stuff. No way. I don't know what wrestlers versus zombies is, but yeah. <laughs> it's definitely better. <laughs> oh, look at this from Lemon. This is incredible stuff from Lemon, isn't it? Oh. Absolutely. No, nice little uh, flurry of action there into the pin. Oh, he had a two count, but Z-Talk broke it up. And back out of the ring, Fan Fox was very late there. But Lemon is good in complete control right now. Tagging in. Oh, tag team maneuver and coming here. What do we got? Axe handle to the arm. Oh, devastating. Oh, mine. Speaking of devastating. <laughs> that did not pay off for him. Used that very injured arm to absolutely flatten Fan Fox. And look at this. The choke slam. I think oh, we're going boy. into a pin here. No, not going for a pin. We're looking to do some more damage. Oh, PTK bomb, maybe. Big Kev bomb, isn't it? Big Kev bomb. Abs well, we got something going on here, yeah. Oh, it's just jackknife powerbomb. And into the pin, he's a long way away from help. 
No, oh, he gets that. Not that just long away. <laughs> Z-Talk had to drop off the uh, apron there briefly to make room for the pin, so. Yep. Oh, the showboat. Yeah, it should be the showboat. Well, that should be his uh, the bomb, the, the, the Vader bomb that he yeah, has. Yeah, the Vader the bomb. Boat. yeah, the Vader bomb is the showboat. Glorious. Sounds good to me. Or it could be the quick snap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Trouble, Trouble in Paradise. Paradise nails the big man. He fell like a ton of bricks. Rolls him over for the pin. He's right on the ropes there. Oh. Zetok able to break it up, save the match. Oh, but Zetok's going to pay for it. Look out, Zetok. <laughs> snap suplex, and out of the ring he goes. He might have another pinning attempt here. Lemon's fucking fired up, isn't he? He sure has been. He's been on a tear all month. Incredible stuff. And uh, you'll notice he hasn't been celebrating all that much either. Maybe got a little bit of coaching advice not to waste time talking about himself. Well, now, now <laughs> Fanfox doing it. There's the pin, though. He's got him. He's done it. And dress for business win again. And look at that. Just like that, they might have gotten themselves a title match. This Sunday at Night of Champions, we will have to wait and hear from the champs themselves. Yeah. What a win for Fan Fox and Lemon is good. Very impressive. Surely it's only a matter of time till they get their hands on the belts again, yeah? Gotta believe it. Uh, I mean, listen, as far as far as freaks go, I can find myself tolerating those two a hell of a lot more than guys like fucking Elk Meme and Humorous <laughs> Chimp. So they're yeah. they're my pick. They're my pick to face the champs. At least they are tried and true, and we know we're gonna get a good match out of them. And folks, now it is time for tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my five surprise entrants to compete in a TLC match. No title on the line. I don't know what's going to be hanging at the top of the at the top of the <laughs> uh, ladder there. But uh, the winner will fill the last spot in the four-way table elimination match for the WEM Dope Championship uh, against Mr. E and friends. Yeah. Yeah, this is it's complete a unknown. Five, five-way TLC. Just a bunch of ladders, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ladders and tables and chairs. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> They're all there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to refresh my water while this one loads up. Yeah, takes a little while. If I had grown up all, that would be awesome. What the fuck is this picture? This is the picture for when you have a TLC match. This is the background. But like, I couldn't, you know, do anything else. Somehow I knew that was going to take a while to load. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. And <laughs> Mr. E from the road. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Here we go, folks. Who's our first entrance? Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. It is Scurramezzo. Woohoo, baby. Just like that, my new favorite to win the window title this Sunday. Here comes the King of Kings, Scurramezzo. Oh, and he is looking ready for a fight, but a TLC match, probably not exactly a favorite in this kind of a match. We'll see what he's got in store. Yeah, absolutely, Night Demon. Not a backstage brawl. That would have been uh, the time and place for him. We'll see how he can do tonight, though. He did have a hell of a showing in that last uh, TLC match. Uh for the tag titles with Satterfield, but did not, it was not able to get the win in it. Yeah, well, it's anyone's match, isn't it? Five people, but uh, you've got to imagine Skuro's got to be one of the most, uh, one of the most qualified wrestlers to win this, no matter who the other four are. You, you, you certainly would think that. <laughs> Quite a few, I'd say. <laughs> 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 Quite a few. I assume that's the grunt he makes when he comes, too. 
All right, who is next? Oh, oh my god. Boy. Look at this. Haven't seen him since Royal Rumble. Oh, what baby. a return. It is Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> He's ready to visualize actual and come in around. I, I think he's going to visualize getting actualized by Skur and Mize. <laughs> Glorious. Match of unknown so far. <laughs> Schniz gets himself into the first main event of his career and he's already got a big head. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, Johnny Five. Jimmy OK, Total Warriors. That's pretty. That's pretty. Total Warriors. Total War. I mean, that's pretty good. Total War. I mean, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. OK, already after like about five. Oh hours God, what's the prediction for a five-way? Oh yeah. Jimmy. Minnette, Jimmy Oscuro. Jimmy Oscuro. That's uh... it. Isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I love the I'm impact. putting a hundred thousand on literally anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's bet twenty already. <laughs> Jimmy G with a twenty just instant to get the insane odds. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> wow, what a competitor and what glorious music. Alright, who else we got? Oh, oh baby! Coming right out of the ring, it's Unseen Walker, the Executioner. Oh boy, former World Heavyweight Champion. The hated foe of Flicky Flack. <laughs> They've got a lot of history, those two, haven't they? Yeah. You're probably not unseen. You might see the end of the entrances by then. <laughs> well, I don't... These are all done live, Elp. But, uh, yeah, I probably should not be allowed to bet on... Uh, <laughs> on Night of Champions. <laughs> Yeah, just do a subtle bet so, so no one looks and sees. <laughs> 100,000 on the guy who no way could possibly win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could, get a, we could get a surprise return. Maybe someone like Johnny Five could make a... He's like one of the few fired guys who hasn't come back at this point. That's true, that would yeah. be something. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Well... This match just got a whole lot sexual, more sexual. I don't think Goliath is even even going to need a ladder to reach up top and win this one. But God help anyone else with all the grease that's going to be in the ring <laughs> trying to set up a ladder and climb it. <laughs> oh dear, that's a, that's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my 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 ladder is already fully erect. Let me just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's pretty good. Oh god, yeah. Could you imagine Goliath winning this and going into a, a four-way table elimination match, which Fall Force would also be in? Oh god, yeah. Oh wow, I want that to happen now. I don't think they I think halfway into the match they just start fucking in the middle of the <laughs> ring. <laughs> What's gonna stop them? I tell you what, from personal experience with Wanga, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Did he just randomly start fucking you in the middle of a wrestling match one day? No and um, but he did he did the six foot five copper that we know. <laughs> I videoed it, it was glorious. <laughs> he 
just had to give up and let him. <laughs> Dry humping, not, not, not Hello, full Mr. on. Hello, Mr. Swanger, how you doing? Not, not full on pen. <laughs> not full on pen, just dry humping. <laughs> Should I have not said that? <laughs> hey, I am all I I am all for talking about cops getting fucked. Let me tell you. <laughs> Should I have not said that? I don't know. I don't know if I still got the video. Oh my god! Is it? Could it be? Oh, it it is. is! He's back! He's made his glorious return! It's Basil! Basil! Finally returning from his quest that we have since learned was successful to rid the world of Chaos Taint <laughs> as we will find out how that story plays out over the next few years, probably. <laughs> Help. <laughs> There he is! He's looking as healthy and hale as you could believe! It's Bazaar! Bazaar! <laughs> what a star-studded five-way TLC match to try and make the Wem Dope Championship match this Sunday, 10 p.m. UTC at Night of Champions. Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> flexing confidently, the only man not wrestling. <laughs> That's why he's confident, Gorilla. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Twelve to one. Oh, Jesus. Incredible. Well, Scaro going right after Basil in this one. As the other three pi pig piling in the bottom of the ring there. Oh, now Bezel going to join in. Scaro may be thinking, no, no, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I've, I've had a lot of dreams that have ended like this, Bezel. <laughs> oh, man. Bezel. <laughs> Nothing for the numbers. This is peak. Peak Twitch entertainment, this. <laughs> I think. Just think of it this way. Just think of it this way, Fuckernomic. You didn't spend the last year working about 20 hours a week on this <laughs> so that someone else could get subs. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. I haven't, I haven't been able to do much else. Although that will change this Tuesday, getting the first shot in the arm at two. Glorious. Able to lock, yeah, able to lock down an appointment for that miraculously. And uh, not looking good for Scarrow in the middle of the ring, though. Mm -hmm. Jimmy grabbing a table. Don't, don't think that's going to get him up top to that, uh, to that <laughs> win condition. No, it looks to have started without without ladders on the outside, hasn't it? So it might be a bit of problems with getting the ladders up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he says. <laughs> oh, Jimmy's back! Just hit those those stairs. Oh, go oh, bezel! Bezel! Oh, it's <laughs> flying butthole there into the uh, turnbuckle and Skrull winding him up and a side Russian leg sweep. J5, I don't think I'm going to be able to process that <laughs> fucking paragraph. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty... I don't think Skurro's... Oh, no! Oh, no! Skurro, no! Oh, no, Skurro, no! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! <laughs> Skurro getting the stink face from Basil. <laughs> Oh, glorious. Thanks, Cookie. Rolling power. out of the ring, and Jim uh, probably going to run far away from that smell. Fucking right. Get oh, dear. Right. Well, that, that might have hurt Bezel's chances at winning on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Get a ladder out, Jim. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, God, this is worrying. Oh, boy. 
Jim looking looking for one. Maybe Goliath now might fix this. No, unseen. No, please. Okay, oh, looks like down. Goliath gonna fix. It. Oh, God damn it! It's a I think we're okay. I think we'll be fine. We've had this happen before, and we almost panicked, and then a and then a ladder came out. It's yeah. only a matter of time. Yeah. <laughs> no, <Jim>. no. <laughs> no. 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 we have <laughs> Jim just walking laps around the ring here. <laughs> He's literally got around the entire ring. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He was winding himself up for that punch <laughs> by slow walking around the ring. Here we go. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. There's nothing oh, under that. They've only got Jim. one thing from each from each one, so I've got to go up the other two. It's, this is rough. This is rough. I'm worried now. I'm officially worried. I think we're fine. Goliath knows. See, look at Goliath. Good man, Goliath. No. Yeah, Less good yeah, man. Yeah, Come yeah, on, Goliath. Goliath. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Yes. yes. A ladder has <laughs> been introduced to the match. <laughs> Everything's good. Phew. Now uh, let's see how long it takes to get it in the ring. Oh yeah, probably for it. Oh, oh Jim! God. Oh! Didn't break the table. Not that that would have done anything. Oh, oh the ultimate splash! Fantastic splash, isn't it? The fantastic splash. <laughs> sure. <laughs> And Bezel now brings the ladder into the ring. Oh, what a drop kick to the knee. Oh, God, Thunder. Oh, fans. look out, Jim. Jim with the oh, ladder. Yes. Jim, Jim got to try and cost Skrull 100,000. Oh, go Jim, on, Jim. Jim. Jim got to. Oh, Skrull's going to the rescue. Skrull. Yes, Bezel. Bezel. Yes, Bezel. Bezel. <laughs> there we go. Bezel wanted him for himself. Yes, Goliath. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, somebody. Oh, Scarrow, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. finally. Unseen. Somebody. Come on. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. That could not have been closer. Oh, my God. Fucking dust. I thought for sure you had it. Jimmy Fantastic held on as long as he could. A lot of derping going on, and now Goliath going up top on the ladder. Oh, God. I don't think Jim's going to be able to move that on his own. No. Oh, God. He almost landed on the arrow there. Old man on the apron. Yeah, it usually takes about three men to get oh, Goliath up. Oh! Jim Bottom and Bezel, exciting return, has to roll out of the ring here. And <laughs> Jim's there, setting Jim. up the ladder again. No, he's, he's going to smash oh, the Oh, look out, Skrull! Oh, dear. Let's go, champ. And nobody moving right now. Jim needs to get up that ladder. Oh, here comes Unseen Walker. Can Let's Unseen go, Walker champ. get him? Unseen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think Jim's got it. I think Jim's got it. <laughs> nice one, unseen. <laughs> He's got it. Jim's got it. Yes. Oh, my God. Come Jimmy, on. fantastic. Why would anyone bet against this? <laughs> that was oh, so wonderful. ridiculous. Absolutely oh wonderful. my goodness. That is glorious, isn't it? Right. <laughs> so next up. 148,000 to CSAPs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. boy. Right. Well, we've got next up, there's uh, there's Aurelensis versus Elkmeme in Extreme Rules. But uh, it looks like. Das Hats have decided who they're, who they're going to fight. Well, announcement coming, folks. Here we go. Yeah. Well, hello, JFW. This is Cowboy Lean Gary speaking, and I've got an important question for EZ. Guys, what is EZ actually supposed to mean? Empty Zoo? 
because you guys sure look like you've broke out from one. But rest assured, after we have kicked your arses, we will gonna put you right back in there where you belong. The mighty warlock Oriolenses and I, Cowboy Lee and Gary, we've had a talk. And we decided we've had enough. Enough of losing to lucky punches, enough of being jumped backstage, and enough of your weirdo antics in general. And that is why the mighty warlock Oriolenses and I, Cowboy Lee and Gary, are putting our tag titles on the line at Night of Champions to kick your sorry asses. Wow, there you go. Well, ah, uh, uh, a little disappointed there. Oriolensis and Lean Gary not going after the top guys like Dress for Business, cherry picking Elt Meme and Humorous <laughs> Chimp, giving them a title shot. But hey, you know, Das Hat's not known for being not the dirtiest players in the game. <laughs> so maybe a smart decision picking on the probably the lowest uh, tag team on the ladder at this point in the. Uh, two shitters like humorous chimp and help me in but <laughs> title shot for them sunday night and here we go finishing off this half and half extreme rules it's the country wizard it's a shame that belt isn't a little bit lower on its waist <laughs> oh wait then it would say count yeah. <laughs> never mind Maybe it's a shame it was not a bit higher up and very, very thin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, CBT lost their title. They've been ignored by Das Hats. Um, you know, and, and yeah, CBT certainly got a lot to say, I think, in about getting them back. Yeah, have not. Have not seen anything from CBT since losing those titles. And uh, that generally doesn't bode well for fucking anyone. <laughs> if you leave, okay, if you leave uh, CBT unattended, all I know is Wardam, his fate. When Night Demon wins the world championship and heads to Mania to main event. Glorious. Right, sorry, that was just uh, <laughs> yeah, Night Yeah, I see. Demon. Thank you very much, right, Night see, Demon. See you, Night Demon. Yep, good night. Absolutely glorious. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think a lot of uh, Cock and Ball Torture's future hinges on uh, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard U.S. time tomorrow when Mordam and Skirmetso go one on one <laughs> in Blitz Pit qualifiers. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see exactly uh, what what what's in Mordam's future after that match. <laughs> yep. I don't know, Marcel. I don't know. <laughs> Marcel McDaniel's fan favorite wrestler has yet to be able to finish his feud with Crusher. Cannot wait to see that one. Hopefully next week. Yep. <laughs> um, because Bezel, he's he's a seagull, right? So <laughs> he's a seagull. Yeah. Why do you why do you ask stupid fucking questions, Bezel? Duh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, cocky. I'll remember that. <laughs> Here we go. One-on-one -on -one extreme rules. The country wizard himself versus Elp Meme. And these two will be in tag. Oh, oh my man. goodness. What a maneuver by Elp Meme. These two will be in a tag team action for the two heads titles. The greatest of all time here, Doss Hats versus this fucking sideshow that no one wants to watch wrestle. <laughs> <coughs> yep. We've been... Uh, hold your breath for that match, Marcel. Because <laughs> it's going to happen and it's going to be glorious. It is. It's <laughs> fake. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of main oh. eventing mania with matches that will actually happen, Nancy, Rick <laughs> Reckless will announce which belt he is pursuing at the WrestleMania main event, and that will happen on Monday Night Claw following Night of Champions. Gonna get one last look at who's got those belts 
and uh, make his decision who he wants to face. Will he be going after Try in the extra arms belt? Will he be going after JBG in the world title? Or will there be a new champion uh, <laughs> awaiting him? We'll find out Monday Night Claw. Oh, yeah. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> a savage attack from El Nino. And then a wild miss. He likes this move, doesn't he? he already, already gone for that a couple of times. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice counter. Oh, what a counter. Nice counter into the DDT. By the country wizard now just choking the chicken there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And here's a pinning attempt. Just the one count. Mm. Nice. Very underrated, isn't he, Aurelensis? He's he's quite the competitor. Sure is. He's uh, move. He's got kind of a bland move set. I think doesn't really stand out, but he sure does get the job done. And if there were anyone, uh, you know, to have in your corner while you're wrestling a single, oh my God, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I know what that was. That was a table right to the fucking pecker. <laughs> yep. But yeah, no, one of the most legendary uh, uh, <laughs> ringside coaches, Oriolensis, <laughs> absolutely glorious when uh, Lean Gary was one on one in many a match during the uh, Scaramento High Intensity Tournament uh, at the end of the summer. Yeah, God, God, that's so long ago. Half a year ago. <laughs> it's crazy. Elp meme hasn't got much offense in in a while here. He hasn't, as he's getting beat down here. Of course, this is extreme rules. No count outs in this one. Oh. Trading chops here. Elp meme's been building up his bullet resistance, but not his chop resistance. <laughs> <laughs> No, he has not been chopped enough, clearly. <laughs> oh, trying to break that beak right on the turnbuckle post. <laughs> One more time for good measure. And, yeah, if you just tuned in, folks, Lean Gary and Oriolensis laying out the challenge. They have accepted EZ for a title match. It'll be a two-on-two -two traditional tag match. At Night of Champions. Oh boy. Well, this is not the place you want to try and put someone to sleep. This is not false count anywhere. <laughs> mistake here by Oriolensis. Big mistake by Oriolensis. But maybe enough to wear down the chicken. Yeah, he might have got the tap there if this had been in the middle of the ring, but it's still wearing him down a lot, isn't it? Yep. Chokes out that chicken one more time. I'm going to keep leaning on that joke heavily. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at oh big goes. peck to the head and another one and here comes Elp meme oh and he's got the chair table whatever it is chair big chair he does have the chair table whatever it is <laughs> and now Elp looking uh looking to do whatever the fuck he does for a finisher oh oh well, pure and simple. You talk about cock and ball torture. Warrior Lentz is oh, the funny. Oh, my God. Two of them. Ref can't do anything about it, but that ain't going to win you a match out there. Oh, my goodness. Double ball shots. <laughs> Holy shit. And surely, surely this... Whatever this is by fucking Elp and Chimp will come to a crashing end on Sunday night. <laughs> but looking pretty strong right now as he comes back and torturing uh, Oriolensis in this Extreme Rules match. Where's Ori oh, Oriolensis <laughs> trying to get away from him? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Not up to his usual levitation, man. 
No. Well, yeah, maybe uh, maybe they're realizing now they got a title match against these guys in, in a couple days. Not the time to uh, put yourself on the line after the double ball shots. Probably, yeah, saying he's still got them. <laughs> Hello, Goliath. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kogi, sorry. Sorry, I'm really sorry, but you know. Block guard's effective, isn't it? Oh, shit, look at that. Sneaky counter, though. Absolutely. Coriolensis might have out, out, out thought Elp meme, which I can't imagine is very difficult. No. I'll be right back. He's just got a little bird brain, hasn't he, all though? Not the sharpest tool in the box. Oof. Nearly got him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> pretty much cocky, yeah. Pretty much on around that level of sorry, yeah. Oh, I thought he got him. Oh, man. Oh, the big, the big pecs. Well, Savage busts him off. <sighs> Uh, so I came back to hear you uh, fixated on Elp's pecs, I hear. <laughs> yeah, he did the, uh, he did the big pecs manoeuvre. Three three in a row. Busted open up Oriolensis. Oh dear. Well, Oriolensis does bleed pretty much every match he's in. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mighty Blow next, copy. Then Claw. <laughs> yeah, Crows are dead smart, aren't they? Oh, there's another ball shot. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Relentless. <laughs> oh, he's helped me uh, showboating a little bit there. His one offensive move pretty much has been the ball shot. <laughs> oh, nice shoulder breaker, though. I mean, it's the best defensive move, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh. oh another one of those. <laughs> Sorry, that was a good move, and he's done two of those in this match as well. And all of a sudden, Elp meme taken over. But again, outside the ring, not going to get a pinfall there. Not entirely sure at this point. Elp gives a fuck about a <laughs> win, though. Oh, another <laughs> vicious peck. No, that wasn't a Selena Del Sol. That was just like a float over uh, uh, Arcleo. <laughs> Oh, the old, uh, whatever this move's called. <laughs> punches, <laughs> punches from the 80s. Yeah, punches from the 80s. Oh, is that what, is that what that was, Fancy Diamond Dust? Yeah, it's not far off from a, from a Selena Del Sol, but a Selena Del Sol this goes the other way the and it ends in the class. pin. Back in the 1980s. Oh, this could be it. it oh my be. god, this would shock the world. <laughs> no, two count kick out. Oreo Lens is still alive in this one. Elp can't believe it. Yeah, and Chimp has already dispatched uh, Lean Gary, hasn't he? So this could be a double win here. Chimp did get the win on Monday. These vicious pecks by Elp. Could you imagine the champs going into Sunday night in a match they picked? Probably trying to cherry pick a weaker opponent and then getting back to back losses to these idiots. <laughs> Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, not yet. <laughs> now, there we go. Catches the leg, brings him right down. Oh, and then here we go. Half Boston Crab. Extreme rules, no rope breaks. A little tap. Will he tap to the half Boston Crab? No! Able to get himself out of it. Oh, God. oh. Nice oh, maneuver shit. there. And Elp, Elp thinking about flying now. Oh, here we go. The Seagull's going to fly. Yeah, he's going to swoop in, try and... Oh, my <laughs> God. The vicious soaring peck to steal your sandwich on the beach. He's got him. He does, and Elp Meme has won it. 
EZ taking two in a row in singles action against the country wizard and lean Gary. But hey, you know what? The, oh, fuck the fuck off no. right now. Wait a second. Maybe, maybe not. Elp extending his hand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, mocking him. Elp mocking him there. And Oriolens is not having any of it. They will meet again in two days' time. Yeah. You wrote you earlier. It. You were, you me. were, yeah, you were in a TLC match, Goliath. Yeah. And now it's the main event. Well, we'll see. The two heads champs will have their work cut out for them on Sunday, apparently, or maybe not. I mean, that tag <laughs> action's a lot different than singles competition. And speaking of tag action, it's plain white toast, flicky flack making an impassioned plea to be added to the match. Well, he's going to face one half of the men in that match in Night Demon along with G'day Nick in the main event right now. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. And, folks, I am getting word of a couple of confirmed matches for Night of Champions. First off, it will be granted Antsy versus Papa Piccolo for the Plim Plum Pluser Weight title. And that one is going to be our ladder match. Look out, Antsy's head. Ladder <laughs> match for the Plim Plum Pluser Weight title. Antsy versus Papa Piccolo. Glorious. And here we go, six feet down on that, facing off against plain white toast. <laughs> yeah, six feet down on Your main event been, of the night, stand firm, rolls on. They've been a terrifying uh, force, haven't they? Six feet down on they, they sure have almost an unstoppable force when you put them all together. And now they've got that unholy alliance with Mr. Jim McMahon. I really don't know what in the JFW backstage area can stop that trio. And uh, we'll see if it can be Flicky Flack <laughs> <laughs> and his PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> Here he is. He's got Tom Schniz out with him. Le Plim Plom Pluserweight himself. La Bread Mass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. This is a double grudge match for Flicky Flack, isn't it? Not only is he up against Night Demon, who, uh, you know, he, he wants to face for the title, <laughs> he also is the guy who fucking created Undead Gdanik, isn't he? He did kill him. Absolutely. Gdanik would love to get a little revenge. Maybe not. Maybe Gdanik happier off as Undead. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, Arietti. Oh. God, Jimson's tie looks like such shit because it's just painted onto the shirt. <laughs> Did you do that, or is that how the shirt is? The Undertaker, I just, I just copied his outfit. Oh my god, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> And uh, Mr. Jim McMahon, part of the Unholy Alliance, beckoning out Night Demon and G'day Nick for this one. Having words with Flicky Flack over there. Like Flicky wow. was frenzied, frenzied there at the start of the match. <laughs> and here we go, right off with a nice suplex. Gdanik had a great showing last week. Let's see if we can continue that. 
Oh, oh look out, look out, Lebred Mask. Oof. Kick to the back of the head there. Wraparound kick. Tagging in the big man himself. Here comes Flicky Flack. Look at this double backbreaker. How quickly will uh, will it take uh, <laughs> Flicky to go to a neck breaker just to assert dominance on Gaday Nick? <laughs> oh, well, he stumps oh. on the head back. Sure does. Always aim for the head. Mm. Oh, but here comes Gdanek, rolls out of that power slam and runs right down uh, Flicky Flack here and picks him up, puts him down, and Gdanek getting in control now. <laughs> yeah, Flicky. Maybe. And over into the corner, Night Demon coming out, running kick to the head. Oh, good Lord. Savage kick to the head. Flicky right back on his feet. He wants a piece of Night Demon. You can tell. Half Nelson suplex, though. He might not get it. Oh boy! Oh, Flicky looking a bit worse for wear now. Yeah, absolutely. Flicky might have might have been looking too far ahead to Sunday night. Doesn't even have that match locked in, and uh, a bad showing tonight would certainly not be on the menu for Flicky Flack to get that title shot. What's Night Demon just kind of <laughs> waiting him out there? Oh, Night Demon miscalculated. And he let Flicky get an opening, and now here comes Le Plim Plom Bluser himself, Le Red Mask. <laughs> wow. What a, what a sum interesting submission attempt here. Indeed. Working on those legs, Night Demon able to fight out of it, though. Uh, it doesn't oh. seem a very intelligent uh, submission maneuver, but interesting. <laughs> uh, we're just happy when uh, Tom Schniz can see his opponent, let alone pull off a good maneuver. Oh, we see this so many times from Night Demon. Oh, dominant maneuver there. Put Tom Schniz down, and now we might be dangerously close to a Zomb A already. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Mr. C. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bit of brain worms on him tonight, hasn't he, Night Demon? But still pretty yeah, dominant. He, again, he's got a title match in two days' time. This match is pretty meaningless to him. Although he would love a chance to show up Flicky Flack one last time. Leave him out of that match. <laughs> And the Friday fuckboy gets something going here. Not like that, he can't. Ooh, dead lift, German suplex. Nope. Back body drop. Just getting dominated here by, yes. by Night Demon. <laughs> Trying to rip that mask off him. God knows what's underneath Flicky Flat. Or, excuse me. <laughs> Let Red Mask some mask. Yeah. I imagine there's a loaf of bread under that. Oh, a hundred percent. Either that, or he's got a face like Just Joe's. <laughs> Cocky. <laughs> Shut up, you face. <laughs> Yes, probably. <laughs> I did. Yeah. One of my finest, one of my finest moments in 40 years of living. <laughs> yeah, I was glad you didn't say the JFW, just in your life. 
It's <laughs> pretty great. In the city. Woo! <laughs> You missed oh. out on a little bit of your uh, your boy Lemon is good. Great showing earlier tonight. <laughs> and here we are in the main event. And uh, the, the bread mask really needs to get something going. He is getting absolutely night demon here. I'm actually surprised that he hasn't taken. Never mind. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> shocked there hadn't been a, a zombie. <laughs> Well, here comes the first one, Flick. He's sad to see it. Here comes Flicky to break up the pit. Oh, he's fired up. Easily he's breaks it up. Yeah. Flicky, every fucking time we get in a fucking ring, a fucking zombie. Oh, he, he interrupted that zombie, though. He paid for it, but he oh. might have just saved Tom Schnizz's life there. He might not no, have done. Never, never mind. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, six feet down under, absolutely dominant there. And I got to believe that makes Mr. Jim McMahon's uh, decision pretty easy. Oh, boy. At, wait. Wait a second. Jim, Jimmy, I, I'm hearing in my ear here. I just got word Mr. Jim McMahon has granted Flicky Flack the, 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 the spot in that world title match. Clearly asserting dominance here, not seeing him as any threat whatsoever. It will be a triple threat match for the world title. JBG versus Night Demon versus Flicky Flack. The Unholy Alliance riding high and not feeling like anything can take him down. Putting Flicky Flack into that match. Oh boy, that should be a title match. And folks, that is going to do it for Friday. Stand firm. I will see you in two days' time for JFW Night of Champions. Thank you so much for having me, as always, Jimmy Ventura. I will see you guys on Sunday night, 10 p.m. UTC. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Um, oh, we'll end it with, with, the, with the thing here. Oh, that's the totally wrong thing. Jesus Christ. Right, there you go. There's the poster. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.